ഡിസ്കസിന്റെ പുതിയ വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ജൂനിയർ ലാവസസൺ എക്സാം ഫിസിക്സ് പാർട്ടിയിലെ മോഡ്യൂൾ ത്രീയിൽ നിന്നും പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുന്ന ചില ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആണ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നെയിം ദ ലോ ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ്സ് ദ ഫോഴ്സ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ചാർജസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ ഓംസ് ലോ ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി കോളംസ് ലോ ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഫാരഡേസ് ലോ ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ആംബിയസ് ലോ Name the law that states the force between electric charges. Answer option B Coulomb's law. Name the law that states the force between electric charges. Coulomb's law. What happens to the force acting between the charged particles? If the distance between these charged particles is half. Option A it increases by 4 times. Option B, it gets double. Option C, it becomes half. Option D, it reduces by one-fourth. What happens to the force acting between the charged particles if the distance between these charged particles is halved? Answer, option A, it increases by four times. The force acting between the charged particles increases by four times if the distance between these charged particles is halved. The capacity of parallel plate condenser is dependent on the option A separation between the plates option B the metal used for the construction option C the thickness of the plate option D the potential applied across the plates the capacity of parallel plate condenser is dependent on the separation between the plates the capacity of parallel plate condenser is depend on the separation between the plates what does an electric dipole experience when it is kept in the non uniform electric field option a only a force option b only torque option c force and torque both option d neither force nor torque what does an electric dipole experience when it is kept in the non uniform electric field answer option c force and torque an electric dipole experience both force and torque when it is kept in the non uniform electric field the capacitance of the capacitor is independent of option a the charges present on the plate option b the distance of separation between the plates option c the shape of the plates option d the size of the plates the capacitance of the capacitor is independent of the size of the plates the capacitance of the capacitor is independent of the size of the plates the rate of flow of electric charge through any cross section of a conductor is known as option a electric flux option b electric potential option c electric current option d electric field The rate of flow of electric charge through any cross section of a conductor is known as electric current. The rate of flow of electric charge through any cross section of a conductor is known as electric current. Which of the following is non ohmic resistance? Which of the following is non ohmic resistance? Option A lamp filament, option B copper wire. Option C carbon resistor option D diode diode is a non ohmic resistance diode the correct answer is diode is non ohmic resistant the sensitivity of a potentiometer can be increased by option A increasing the potential gradient option b decreasing the length of potentiometer wire option c decreasing the current in the potentiometer wire option d all this the sensitivity of potentiometer can be increased by option c decreasing the current in the potentiometer wire decreasing the current in the potentiometer wire when the charged particles move in a combined magnetic <coughs> and electric field then the force acting is known as option a centripetal force option b centrifugal force 
Option C. Lorentz force. Option D. Orbital force. Answer is Lorentz force. When the charged particles move in a combined magnetic and electric field, then the force acting is known as Lorentz force. A charged particle is moving in a cyclotron. What effect on the radius of path of this charged particle will occur when the frequency of the radio frequency field is double? Option A. It will also be double. Option B. It will be half. Option C. It will be increased by 4 times. Option D. It will remain unchanged. A charged particle is moving in a cyclotron. What effect on the radius of path of this charged particle will occur when the frequency of the radio frequency field is double? The answer is option D. It will remain unchanged. The answer is option D. It will remain unchanged. A current carrying loop is placed in a uniform magnetic field. The torque acting on it does not depend upon Option A. Area loop. Option B. Value of current. Option C. Magnetic field. Option D. Shape of the loop. A current carrying loop is placed in a uniform magnetic field. The torque acting on it does not depend upon shape of the loop. Answer is option D. Shape of the loop. The resistivity of certain metals or alloys drops to zero when they are cooled below a certain temperature. This phenomenon is known as option A conductivity, option B partial conductivity, option C superconductivity, option D non-conductivity. The resistivity of certain metals or alloys drops to zero when they are cooled below a certain temperature. This phenomenon is known as Option C. Superconductivity. The resistivity of certain metals or alloys drop to zero when they are cooled below a certain temperature. This phenomenon is known as superconductivity. By inserting a soft iron piece into the solenoid, the strength of the magnetic field. Option A. Decrease. Option B. Increase. Option C. First increase then decrease. Option D. Remains unchanged. By inserting a soft iron piece in the solenoid, the strength of the magnetic field increase. Answer Option B Increase. By inserting a soft iron piece in the solenoid, solenoid, the strength of the magnetic field increase. Biot-Savart's law indicates that the moving electrons produce a magnetic field B such that Option A B is perpendicular to V. Option B, B is parallel to V. Option C, it obeys inverse cube law. Option D, it is along the line joining the electron and point of observation. biot savarts law indicates that the moving electrons produce a magnetic field B such that B is perpendicular to V. Biot Savard's law indicates that the moving electrons produce a magnetic field B such that B is perpendicular to V. An electron is projected with a uniform velocity along the axis of a current carrying long solenoid. Which of the following is true? Option A. The electron will be accelerated along the axis. Option B. The electron path will be circular about the axis. Option C. The electron will experience a force at 45 degree to the axis and hence execute a helical path. Option D. The electron will continue to move with the uniform velocity along the axis of the solenoid. The correct answer is Option D. The electron will continue to move with the uniform velocity along the axis of the solenoid. An electron is projected with the uniform velocity along the axis of a current carrying long solenoid, which of the following is true? Answer is, the electron will continue to move with the uniform velocity along the axis of the solenoid. An induced EMF is produced when a magnet is plunged into a coil. The strength of the induced EMF is independent of 
Option A, the strength of the magnet. Option B, number of turns of coil. Option C, the resistivity of the wire of the coil. Option D, speed with which the magnet is moved. An induced EMF is produced when a magnet is plugged into a coil. The strength of the induced EMF is independent of answer option C, the resistivity of the wire of the coil. The strength of the induced EMF is independent of the resistivity of the wire of the coil. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, Option A, electric field is produced by time varying magnetic field flux. Option B, magnetic field is produced by time varying electric flux. Option C, magnetic field is associated with the moving charge. Option D, none of these. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, electric field is produced by time varying magnetic flux. Electric field is produced by time varying magnetic flux. The polarity of induced EMF is given by the polarity of induced EMF is given by option A Ampere's circuital law, option B Biot-Savart's law, option C Lenz law, option D Fleming right hand rule. The polarity of induced EMF is given by option C Lenz law. The polarity of induced EMF is given by Lenz law. Which of the following proves that electromagnetic waves are transverse? Option A reflection, option B diffraction, option C interference, option D polarization. Which of the following pro proves that Electromagnetic waves are transverse. Option D. Polarization. Polarization proves that electromagnetic waves are transverse. An electromagnetic wave can be produced when the charge is option A moving in a circular orbit, option B moving with a constant velocity, option C falling in an electric field, option D both A and C. An electromagnetic wave can be produced when the charge is answer is option D both A and C. An electromagnetic wave can, can be produced when the charge is moving in a circular orbit and moving with a constant velocity. Answer is both A and C.